नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई सी बैंगलोर एलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टी ड्यूब टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सेकेंड लास्ट एम सी क्यू दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फोर्टीन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड ओवरऑल The transverse displacement at position x and time t in a string due to a travelling wave is given by y of x comma t is equal to 3.0 cos of pi x minus 4 pi t centimeters, where x is in centimeters and t is in seconds. Which of the following statements is wrong? Maximum value of transverse velocity of any point is 12 pi centimeters per second, and wavelength is 0.2. meters speed of wave propagation in the positive x direction is 4 pi centimeters per second transverse velocity at t equal to 0 at and at x equal to 0.25 centimeters is 6 root 2 pi centimeters per second and maximum value of transverse acceleration of any point is 48 pi square centimeter per second square acha Now to solve this particular problem, we need to first recall the equation of a traveling wave. Okay, the equation of traveling wave is y of x comma t is equal to a sine or cos. But here because they have said cos, let's write cos. Cos k x minus omega t. Right? And what is k? K is the wave number which is two pi by lambda. omega is the angular frequency and a is the amplitude a is the amplitude okay now understand that this wave is traveling along the x direction but the particles of the string are going to vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation that's the speciality of transverse wave correct so let's find the expression for transverse velocity and also transverse acceleration okay So, how are we going to find transverse velocity? Transverse velocity. Okay. Now, see, uh, because y is a function of two variables, we cannot uh, differentiate y with respect to t directly. Well, at this level, you may write it as dy by dt. Uh, okay. Let's write it like this way: treating x as a constant. Treating x as a constant, it's not a constant, but this uh, method or this uh, differentiation is called partial differentiation. Okay, we learn this in higher courses, and we we use this symbol for that. So we say partial y by partial t. Okay, so that's the symbol. So it's not actually d, d with its head being bent leftwards. Okay, but can we differentiate it? Why not? It will be. Uh, A as it is into negative sine. Remember, we have to treat k x as a constant. Okay, k x minus omega t into change rule derivative of the inner function. Now, as x is a constant for t, it is independent of t basically. So, k x is derivative will be zero. Negative omega t's derivative will be negative omega. Okay. So, can we what can we write now? Negative negative will be positive. So, it will be a omega sine of k x minus omega t okay so what is our transverse velocity maximum okay transverse velocity maximum okay let's just say v trans max is a omega right okay they also want us to determine the acceleration i suppose at some point maximum value of transverse acceleration okay Now, what is transverse acceleration then? Transverse acceleration. Okay, so in this case, we have to write it as uh, partial two y by partial t square. Okay, so let's take the derivative of this again. So it is going to be negative a omega, or uh, a omega squared. Sorry, negative a omega squared cos of k x minus omega t right transverse acceleration 
second derivative of position with respect to time a omega constants derivative of sine cos derivative of kx minus omega t with respect to t is negative omega okay uh, okay now let's just take the snapshot here and let's go one by one let's checking let's go checking one by one let's start with option d they are saying maximum value of transverse acceleration of any point is 48 pi squared centimeters per second squared uh, okay uh, we'll also need the equation of the wave okay we'll also need the equation of the wave okay so this is it 3 cos of uh, pi x minus 4 pi t centimeters okay so amplitude is in centimeters okay uh, pi x must be dimensionless okay and as x is in centimeters pi must be in per centimeter correct and what is pi it is actually the wave number k which is 2 pi by lambda right 2 pi by lambda so uh, lambda will be equal to 2 right lambda has to be equal to 2 because once we cancel pi lambda by 2 becomes 1 so lambda must be equal to 2 correct so and, and in centimeters okay wavelength is in centimeters lambda is 2 centimeters okay now let us also calculate omega uh, it is kx minus omega t so omega is 4 pi omega is 4 pi radians per second so what is frequency frequency is uh, omega by 2 pi so omega by 2 pi will be 2 hertz correct okay now let us start with transverse acceleration they are saying maximum value of transverse acceleration that means a omega squared so for option d we have to look at a omega squared what is a 3 omega is 4 pi if we square 4 pi it will be 16 pi squared is it 48 pi squared let's uh, yes and let's also uh, make sure that the units are right amplitude centimeters so centimeter and well of course omega squared is per second squared so option d is right in the sense whatever it is saying it's right let's go to c now option c let's go to c transverse velocity at t equal to 0 and at x equal to 0 0.25 is 6 root 2 pi centimeters per second okay what is velocity this is velocity transverse velocity okay this is transverse velocity uh, they are saying at t equal to 0 x equal to 0 0.25 okay let's call it v1 uh, a is 3 centimeters mm, omega is 4 pi sine of kx so pi x minus omega t 4 pi t now for the situation t is 0 okay t is 0 and x is 0 0.25 or pi by 4 right pi by 4 0 now how much is sine pi by 4 1 by root 2 so it will be 12 pi by root 2 or it will be 6 root 2 pi centimeters per second right you can write 12 by 6 into 2 write that 2 as root 2 into root 2 cancel root 2 you'll get 6 root 2. okay so option c is also well whatever it is saying it's right okay now let's go to option b speed of wave propagation in the positive x direction is 4 pi centimeters per second now let's calculate the speed of propagation here what is the propagation speed it is lambda f okay it is lambda f it's not the transverse velocity by the way this is wave speed the speed at which the crest is moving or the speed at which the trough is moving okay what is wavelength have we calculated the wavelength two centimeters okay what is the unit okay centimeters per second okay so two centimeters into what is frequency 
frequency is 2 hertz so it's 4 centimeters per second and uh, they're saying speed is 4 pi centimeters per second okay now that is something which is not right because the wavelength times frequency it can never be 4 pi because frequency is independent of pi it is 2 hertz and uh, this pi is actually wave number so that is 2 pi by lambda so pi pi is anyways going to get cancelled when we calculate lambda so in option b it's not 4 centimeter it's not 4 pi centimeters per second but it is 4 okay so not 4 pi centimeters per second right so the statement the wrong statement is b okay it's not 4 pi okay mm, now let's just uh, analyze a let's analyze a maximum value of transverse velocity at a point at any point is 12 pi centimeters per second and wavelength is 0.2 meters mm, well wavelength is also not 0.2 meters right wavelength is actually 0 0.02 meters right wavelength is 0 0.02 meters okay so this is also not right okay let's just go for maximum velocity value of transverse velocity is it really 12 pi maximum value of transverse velocity what is transverse velocity oh that was the first thing that we had obtained v max trans is a omega v max trans is uh, v trans max is a omega what is a three centimeters omega four pi so 12 pi centimeters per second okay fine so uh, for this particular uh, problem option a is also not right in the sense that it's not the statement that it makes it is making is not right because they're saying and and for and to be true both the statements should be true right so according to me it's it could either be option a or b depending on whether it was a printing mistake not to uh, printing pi here or not printing a zero that but we have made sure that we, we have dealt with all the options here okay so we have completely analyzed the equation correct that, so that was question number 59 in our last video next one we shall solve the last one from 2017 physics